Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Just about every day, we try to upload five different video segments to YouTube and other video networks, and uh, that's worked out pretty well for us. Gets us about approximately 25 new videos a week, and uh, we had a, a person who's, of course, picked up on this fact and has realized that I'm answering questions this frequently, uh, and Gareth is his name, and he writes in with this particular question related to video and YouTube specifically. I was wondering if you could shed some light on a problem that I have had with a new PC ever since I got it. The problem is when I try to f a few videos from YouTube and put them in full screen, my FPS, or frames per second, goes right down and the video starts jumping and skipping frames. It is impossible to watch it, and this also happens when I try to play Flash games and want them to play in full screen mode. This could be related to a lot of things, most likely software related. Uh, it could be uh, the fact that your video drivers are not very well optimized for flash full screen video. It could very well be that the uh, encoder that created that flash video wasn't optimized for your system or hadn't necessarily been optimized for video as much as newer versions of the flash encoder have been optimized. Um, it could be that you've got a lot of software running on your system. It could be a lot that you have a lot of eye candy running on your system. Um, and, and in fact, uh, that was one of the reasons in Windows XP I always ran in classic mode versus Luna mode uh, just because I didn't need the extra bloat uh, and I've, I have got along just fine with classic mode in Windows XP and earlier. Can't really run X or classic mode in Windows Vista very well. You actually take a performance hit when you do that. It's just the opposite in Windows Vista. Um, now he goes on to note that the uh, he doesn't have these issues when he does this full screen video or plays flash games full screen on the PCs at his school, but it's difficult to compare PC to PC. Again, it could be related to a video driver issue, other software that may be running in the background. Um, you know, maybe it's less related to optimizations and more just about you know not just how much memory is installed in your system, but specifically the speed uh, at which that memory is actually running. There's a lot of, of things that come into play, and to let you you know, I don't know if this is going to make you feel any better, but to let you know, um, when I play a video full screen, here is a video that we recorded this past weekend. Uh, Ponzi is cleaning the windshield of our rental car. Uh, apparently it was just dirty enough that even though she wasn't driving at the time, she just felt compelled to clean it. Uh, and when I pull it up full screen, I can definitely tell it's dropping frames, like noticeably dropping frames. Um, it skips. I mean, it's not impossible to watch. I'll still watch it, but it, it definitely is not as smooth as when I see the video play inside the browser window itself. Um, so. And to, to let you know, my particular hardware, uh, I've got, you know, NVIDIA video cards, two of them, uh, very, very fast. Uh, what is it, the 5200, something around that line, uh, in, the, in the 5XXX series. Um, the, uh, uh, I've also got a Quad FX system, 3 gigahertz, so that's basically four processors. Well, for, for all intents and purposes, uh, pro the system sees four processors. Uh, the uh, uh, I've got you know Windows Vista. I mean, it's, you think it's fast enough, but video still drops frames. So in this situation, I'm likely inclined to believe that the way this video was encoded wasn't necessarily optimized for my particular system or faster systems. Um, it may have been encoded with a, a, a an earlier version of Flash, which at earlier as earlier versions uh, go, they're certainly not as optimized for video as newer versions of the Flash encoder. Are, and that's been echoed by a few people who are really knee deep into the Flash video world, stating that uh, specifically Flash Video 9 does a much better job with video and performance in high definition video in Flash than earlier versions of Flash. So you may have to wait uh, for a new version of Flash to be released or some of these videos, whether they're YouTube or otherwise, uh, to be uh, re optimized uh, specifically either for your video drivers or just video in general, or you know, take any of these. Um, issues and uh, look at one uh, independent of another to see if uh, replacing or upgrading or trying different uh, video drivers are going to help. Try turning off eye candy, try turning off background things. I don't know if that's going to help. Um, I've tried it on my system and 
I've just about given up. I, I'm just, uh, you know, I, I'm, I could blame Windows Vista. Maybe the case. I don't know if you're running Vista or XP. This is a difficult one to nail. Um, I'll have to pass it around a few of my Flash friends to see what they say and what they think. And, uh, of course, if they come up with an answer or if you have an answer, leave a follow-up remark or a comment so that, uh, you know, we'll be able to answer Garrett's question. And I guess my question, too, since I'm having the, the same issue and I've never really been able to figure that out, considering that what I have is a relatively fast system, or at least I thought it was fast. Um Anyway, could be a problem or it just could be a feature, not a bug. Uh, let us know uh, if you've got something to say. Leave a comment, as I said, or swing by the chat room. We're always live at live.perillo.com.